A Dutch teacher, Janet Hausman, has introduced B-Bot robotic education technology in Uganda. The veteran teacher of over 30 years experience uses a programmed B-shaped robot to train children in lower level classes. Willie, can you go two steps forward, please? Yes, I Another can. learning tool has been introduced to improve pupil skills. The B-Bot is a child-friendly B-shaped robot that can be programmed to move to different directions. Such a facility is timely in the learning of a child as the world is implementing ICT in the education systems. Pupils can play educational games by using this robot as a tool uh, to develop. You have to program it to get him from A to B and uh, you make little steps to get to a solution. And uh, you first uh, implement, then you see what it does and then you evaluate. And Steve Jobs always said once, uh, every kid in the world should learn how to program, not to learn programming, but it teaches you how to think. With this method, learners can get to know how to use electronics, develop their special orientation and collaborate with classmates to solve problems. This kind of programming is not something that we are used to doing, especially during my time when I was going to school. We could count things, especially for someone who has gone to a village school. You start from writing uh, on the ground in the dust, you do counting with a stick, you do counting with stones. But if you have this kind of mental thinking, you think fast, you add up things fast, you can use the b-boat to find your name quickly. So it helps the children to think much faster and do great work. The B Bot is a popular educational tool in the Netherlands, and Janice Huisman, a Dutch primary school teacher, hopes it will be adopted on a large scale in Ugandan schools. If you want to be successful in, in the world, you need to educate kids and uh, at a young age. And I think it's even a right for kids to have good education. They can have jobs later, they can develop the country. And what you see in uh, countries like Uganda, people move out. Uh, people, uh, experienced people, uh, technical people, they look for jobs elsewhere and you should maintain these people here. You need them and you need to educate them. If uh, I see the countryside, what is happening there, um, yeah, I feel sorry for them. And that's why I'm also here, to, to offer something uh, that uh, can bring them further. And I really hope that uh, every country has good primary education. Even in the Netherlands, they underestimate primary ed education. Royalville Kindergarten in Lugala, a Kampala suburb, is one of the first beneficiaries. This is like a co-curriculum to us, that when the kids are out there at break time, instead of just jumping around, they can use the b-boats on the mats to identify numbers, identify letters, uh, write their names, so it's very, very good. It's very, very innovative to the school. And I find it beneficial, especially for this age group of four to seven years. Each B board costs 100 euros, an equivalent of approximately Uganda shillings 410,000. But it is a friendly tool that will improve learning in schools. Dennis Igoa and Robin Yoso for UBC News. Go, go, go.